da, da, da. Oh, what's going on, guys? Didn't know you'd be back so soon. You know, one thing that uh, I've noticed that I've done is I've been a little hard on my jokes with Vinegar Syndrome because they're a company that seemingly will put out almost anything. But the truth is, I think that's actually a really cool thing because Vinegar Syndrome is preserving cinema as we know it. They're putting out movies that, quite frankly, without them, I would have never even heard of, much less seen. So I actually love Vinegar Syndrome. And to be honest, when it comes to this Blu-ray company war, I could see Vinegar Syndrome coming out on top. They have a very dedicated fan base and they put out a lot of stellar releases. So I'm a big Vinegar Syndrome fan. So, you know, for once I thought I would take the day to talk about five Vinegar Syndrome Blu-rays that I want you to own. Now, if you don't see your favorite in this today, don't worry. I mean, this is clearly going to be at least a volume two or three type of deal because I, I got a, a lot of good Vinegar Syndrome titles. So, you know, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right in it. And I've got a stack of Vinegar Syndrome titles right here. So to start, I definitely think that Tammy and the T-Rex is worth a pickup from you. This is a movie that the first time I tried to watch this, I was like, what is this? This is weird. I'm not ready for this. Didn't like it. Kind of turned it off halfway through. Then I saw the fans. They were coming out in droves for this movie. I would see these images that, of part of the movie that, quite frankly, I didn't make it to yet. Picked this movie up, revisited it again. Quite frankly, it's one of my favorite Vinegar Syndrome title movies now. Tammy and the T-Rex, or in the movie as it's known as Tanny and the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus, whatever. Uh, you know, this is a really energetic, fun, wild movie. It's a comedy, but, you know, it's a horror movie in the sense that this version of the film that they got has blood, gore, guts, you name it. You know, this film was, was edited back in its day to be released as like a Disney film, but the people who made it, made it as more or less a horror movie, because there's destruction, blood, guts. It's awesome. So Vinegar Syndrome were able to find that original print of the movie, or the director was, and they released the real version of Tammy and the T-Rex with all of its HD, gory, beautiful moments. So this movie actually has some really funny stuff in it, and Terry Kaiser is in it. Bernie, Bad News Cruise, you know, what a great, fun movie. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking the first time I was trying to watch this, but I'm so glad that I'm on the Tammy and the T-Rex train now. Fabulous movie. Highly recommend you checking it out. So that's Tammy and the T-Rex. Next is actually a little derivative of my T-shirt. Spookies. Now, Spookies is a movie that I absolutely love. This is probably my favorite Vinegar Syndrome movie because of how much I enjoyed this silly, wacky, fun, 80s nostalgia trip. Spookies is a movie that is basically made to showcase special effects that the people were able to do at the time in low budget horror. And uh, that's really all I would want from a movie like this. First of all, the soundtrack is a 10 out of 10. One of the coolest 80s little soundtracks I've ever heard. The song's stuck in my head right now. I actually covered one of the themes in this movie uh, on my YouTube channel. The Spookies theme, the end credits theme is, which one, is the one I did. Check that out, especially if you watch this movie and then see it. What a fun movie. I mean, it's really imaginative. It almost doesn't make sense because it's two movies kind of put together. I wouldn't spoil that too much, though. The documentary in here is great, goes into all of that. You've got farting mummies, muck mummies, whatever they're called. You've got a water gremlin. A water gremlin, a water, like, mermaid gremlin. And it's amazing. It lives up to the hype of that name. That's not its name, but when you see the movie, you'll know. There's all kinds of monsters in this film. It's great. There's a werewolf guy. There's an old man who's running, like, this old mansion. It's great. It's all, it's like, it's a bad movie. Don't get me wrong. It's a definition of a bad movie, but it's the most amazingly entertaining bad movie. I love Spookies. I really do. But the soundtrack, I think, is the true hero of this movie. So definitely give that music a close listen when you watch Spookies, but I love it. All right, coming up next is, uh, this is a movie I'm so glad to talk about because quite frankly, when you look at the artwork for this movie, you're like, oh yeah, but there's no way it's going to live up to that hype. But the truth is it does. Unmasked Part 25. I loved this movie. I didn't pick it up for the longest time because I was so scared that like 
what what is Unmasked Part 25? What is it? Is it a shot on video thing? Unmasked Part 25 is actually a really, I think, smart, fun movie that kind of, you know, pokes fun at the slasher genre in a way. It, it, it talks about this character who's, a, who's supposed to be a slasher guy and how he was living his life and things like that. I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised with Unmasked Part 25. So I, I think that this movie is extremely worth your time and worth your money to pick up. So if you see Unmasked Part 25 on Amazon for a good price, I'll have all these Blu-rays listed. If they're on Amazon, I'll have my affiliate links listed below and it doesn't cost you anything. If you wanna use my links, it just gives me a couple cents to my name. But yeah, this movie was great. I loved Unmasked Part 25. There's some really cool uh, images in this movie. There's some really funny moments in this movie. Great little flick, great little flick. If you haven't seen a mess part 25, I highly recommend you picking up this Blu-ray and checking it out. Coming in next is one of my favorite slashers in the game. If I had to really make a slasher list of like my favorites, this one is at least top five. Madman. That's right, Madman. This Vinegar Syndrome title has been out for quite some time. And I'm so glad it's not out of print or anything. Madman is the definition of a great low budget slasher. I love this movie because there's characters in it that do silly, funny things. There's like a a sexy hot tub like mini dancing scene in this movie with really bad music, money. But the star of this film is obviously Madman Mars himself, the slasher villain in this film. Great shot. This is one of the most creepiest shots in this movie that I love in the beginning. I won't spoil it, uh, but this is a good slasher movie. I mean, it's a dang good slasher movie and it's one of my favorites it's top five easy one of my favorites madman lives up to the hype of its name because what a great title for a slasher film if you haven't seen madman i guarantee you this is a title you can skip streaming or finding and going straight to this blu-ray it's easily top five slashers for me i love it so much very spooky very creepy movie i mean very creepy movie and last but certainly not least in this edition of Vinegar Syndrome Blu rays, I want you to own none other than the Ice Cream Man. Now, the only complaint I have about this is why did we not get the original poster art for this film? Nobody really knows. I'm assuming it just wasn't a viable option for some reason or one reason or another. But irregardless, the Ice Cream Man is a stellar, fantastic 90s gem. Clint Howard is the Ice Cream Man, and he is a vicious young man quote Alice Cooper from the Brutal Planet album. Uh, this movie lives up to its hype. He is a maniacal ice cream man who loses his mind. You know, one of those great movies. It's got that amazing 90s feel. There is actually some really funny moments. Did I, did I mention Olivia Hussey is in this movie? That's right, Olivia Hussey from Black Christmas, Stephen King's It, Psycho 4. She's in the ice cream man. Uh, and she is, of course, lovely. You know, this is really a fun 90s, really weird movie, you know? I don't think that the producers of this film really knew what they were getting when this movie was made, and I'm so glad, you know? It's like they really didn't have a, keep a close eye on it, so I don't know that they were happy with the product, but it's amazing. I love Ice Cream Man. It's one of the best 90s horror movies on the planet. I say that looking right into the camera because I mean it. This is a movie you've got to see. Check out the trailer for The Ice Cream Man. I promise you, you're going to dig it. So there it is, guys. Those are five Vinegar Syndrome Blu-rays I want you to own. You know, I, I have poked fun at Vinegar Syndrome, but the truth is they're a great company that takes care of their fans and basically gives them what they want. So I actually have no bad things to say about Vinegar Syndrome. There will obviously be more volumes than one for this because there's a lot of great titles I could talk about. But those are five that I think are a great way to get you started if you haven't dove into Vinegar Syndrome yet. If you have any questions, please drop them below. And again, if you haven't seen your recommend in this video and you want it to come, you can drop it in the comment, please. But just know there will be another one of these. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is Christian Hannah Har, and I've got to get back to filing my movies.